welcome back to our YouTube channel. Welcome back. Come on, baby. See as I soft now, fresh boy. Ooh. My name is Makile Togolano. Yeah, my name is Olumide Ogulano, aka Saint Lumi. Never forget the ganja. Come on, put I'm some vibe. I'm just going to be oh, you know, helping himself. God. So yeah, so, um, these are these are the issues. Baby. Focus, focus, focus. These are the issues. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. welcome. Thank you for coming to our YouTube channel. Um, if you have already subscribed to our YouTube channel, mwah! we love you. Um, I'm so fine. Though. Ah, why do you do this all the time? Because you're so fine. Anyways, today we're talking about um okay, let me let me first of all say the basis of this conversation. So on Twitter I saw somebody say why, why are you dreaming? It's not it's not it's it's it has always been like a school of thought. So Yeah, whether it has always been a school of thought or not, the basis that actually made me want to talk about this was that post I saw on Twitter. Okay. The person said that I don't okay, so I quote, I don't know why you people go around telling your partner about your past. Don't why? So yeah, that's the basis of this conversation. So we're asking the question: should you tell your partner about your past or not? What should you actually tell your partner? Mm. So mm. yeah. Are you trying to tell me that there are some things that you're hidden from me? We are answering a question. We are not saying that there are okay, some so things you, that you, you, you tell your partner everything? Yes, now. Mm. Yeah, in my opinion, yes, you should. But however, we'll get into it um, in more details. So, yeah. Yeah, so for me, history sharing, I think, in relationship is actually very important. But then, you don't just go on the first date and then go and start telling someone, oh, my body count is this. My this is that. The person will run. No? <laughs> <laughs> so first date is just for knowing each other on the surface. And then as things go on, as things go by and the relationship gets from one level of trust to the other, and then people are both of you are getting comfortable in your own skin. I feel like there are some really important information that you should let your partner know. Basic. I don't think just let your partner know. It doesn't even kill anybody. I mean the past is the past, yeah, like we all say, the past is the past. But then just let the person know that, okay, this is what it used to be before, or this is who I used to be before, or this is what you might hear of me, that type of thing. And then this is who I am now. So, this gives, takes me back to when we started dating. So, when we started dating, we were, before we started dating, we had conversations about plenty of things. So, even when she was in school with you, I knew because we were uh, friends, elder sisters, because I knew that they always left school every time. And sometimes I ask, like, how did these girls just always leave school like every other time? But then there was like a general rumor, general perception of she and all her friends in school. They were like, oh, they were, uh, they were Ron's girls and the likes. So when, so when I started dating her, uh, a friend of mine that attended her school to the same set called me and said, and said oh, Olumide, she called me and said that she was like, oh Olumide, yeah, we are friends, yeah, I don't feel like, yeah, this person you are dating, I feel like I need to tell you this about, about her, um, I feel like she's a Ron's girl, so I asked a few questions, so that then, when I asked those few questions, there were, there were no concrete proof or evidence to show what was what, it was just a constant rumor that had now become more like a proof to show that ah, that is what they are, ah, those ones leave them. But then we had that conversations about it before then, and then because most of the time I asked, how do you leave the school so well? And then one gist left to another, and then she just gave me gist about how people in our school always thought that oh, they were all wrong girls, and then they were always sleeping out of school and stuff. And it was just so hilarious. So when my when my friend came to tell me that oh, this is your new girlfriend, Naros Gelo, I was like, wow. I think I have an idea of what you're talking about. We've had conversations about it. And she was like, oh, you guys have had conversations about it. I'm like, yes, we have. We've had serious conversations about it. And then, yeah, it's okay. It's fine. You guys just had like wrong idea of who they really were, but it's okay. So things like that. So imagine if we had not had, like talked about it. People just take those things to heart and then get emotional about it to start saying things like, oh, so you used to do wrong when you're in school. Oh, so you used to do this. You used to do that. You used to do it. Sometimes just 
let your partner know it, it takes away that it, it, it prepares them for whatever it is they are going to hear so it is it's as though they are hearing it for the second time it's not the first time because they've heard it from the horse's mouth yeah, it won't come as it won't come as a new it won't come as a shocker to you yeah, exactly shocker. yeah so I oh I, I heard a whole lot of stuff and then i was like oh i already know so somebody was telling me something one day i was like yes i know oh i know Oh yeah, trust me, I know. <laughs> and then they were like, oh, you know? I was like, yes, I know. But is that not what relationship is all about? Is she not supposed to tell me? I know. So this thing you're telling me now is like is like still gist because I already know who I am with. So yeah, so I think information sharing is very important. History sharing is very important. Um although when it comes to when we come, when we talk about things like body count. Um, flings and stuff. There are some some of you, you know, some, some people are adventurous, but some of you, let's not lie, some of you are boring history. You, you didn't really do anything. You were just there. So you don't really have any history to share. <coughs> share you get. But some people that were adventurous and some people that they taught them not to count whatever it is that they were doing. Just enjoy your life. Like you, Abby. No, no, just with baby. So some people that they taught them not to <laughs> Like you, Abby. But, but why should you even count? You don't need you don't need to count. You just need to enjoy your life. Fifty six and counting. Fifty six what? Fifty six what? Fifty six castles of cow or what? <laughs> so some people don't count. So it's okay. It's okay to not have record of the number of people you've been with. But then I think even though you don't have like a complete number, I think you should just let your partner know the type of person he used to be. It's, if the person loves you for you, that's fine. But then I just feel like they should have an idea so that things. Don't catch them on our because I think many many frictions that we see in relationships or after marriage comes from discoveries of oh so you've even slept with this person before how come I'm just here oh so you've even been with this person before how come I'm just here so sometimes when we're going out I, maybe we're going for a wedding or something sometimes I tell my wife I'm all, this person that's getting married we used to mm -mm, but then that was then so that's so that you won't get there then. I like to start exactly. Yeah, so everybody knows what it is. There's no, there's no need for all that awkwardness and then all that friction because I believe that's what causes a lot of but, unnecessary but friction. But in all of this, I think I want to ask you something. Oh. So part of um, the information that one would think to share with a partner. Um, okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll mention one thing, and I, I think one should also share like you know your past relationships and. Mm -hmm. Why you broke up with the people that you have been with? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like if you, I don't know, maybe but then, a financial but, 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 problem. But, but, but then the thing, the thing is about telling the story about why you left people because people like to paint themselves as sin. So most times, if you hear a story and then you feel like in that story your partner seems like your correct partner seems like the saint in that story, there is a little. Well, no, no, yeah, well, true, definitely. There's always two sides to a story, and then there's the truth. Like, However, like, I want to ask yeah. so, if if part of the reason that you broke up from that relationship was because you cheated, would that be something to tell your partner? Like, oh, I cheated on my former, you know, partner. So, I think when it comes to that, so I think it needs to be, it's not something you will say on the first or second. It's not something you say like within two months of the relationship. I think it's something you can let your partner know that oh, in my last relationship I messed up, oh, I did this and did that, but then now I'm willing to do better. I've learned from my mistakes and stuff. I think it's just understand your partner, read the room, understand where their head is at when it comes to your intimacy, your yes, your intimacy with them, and the type of information they can handle part time. So don't go and be telling someone something that sensitive when you guys are not really in a great place Space. it's really really you, you need to be able to understand your yeah you are with this person you guys talk every time you guys communicate you guys do like practically everything together so you need to understand to say oh i think i've gone to this place where i can just tell this person that oh my last relationship oh, oh this 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 happened and i'm trying to make sure that it doesn't happen again so yeah all right so, so i think I it's something think... you should still share yeah. it depends on the level of trust and how comfortable you guys are gotten with each other, yeah. I agree with that because I was reading an article that said, you know, that if you cheated on your partner that you shouldn't mention it. And I don't agree with that because it's something that see, there's nothing hidden under the sun. Really? It's something that is definitely going to come out eventually, either by mistake or intentionally. Yeah, things like that just or always. Or maybe find the person that you cheated with will come up and something will happen. 
This yeah. mouth is very small. Too it small. will always come out. So I feel like that's an information that you want to share. Oh, I cheated on my previous partner, you know. Um, and then you now leave it to the person you're currently with to deal with that information, how best they will deal with it. If they can handle it and you guys can walk, it, walk past it, all well and good. If you can't, then you move on. Life is not difficult. But it's important that you share it. But it's important that you share, yeah, seriously. It's actually um, very important that you share. Another thing that you must share is your medical history. So if, for instance, you have like a chronic illness or you've had STDs before, or you have a HIV, for instance, <laughs> fam, like, please tell the person that you are with that you have HIV. Because we're reading recently about, you know, somebody that has HIV that is a carrier and the person just wants to distribute it. I'm more like, are you a devil? What's your problem? Seriously, like, open your mouth and say the truth. Tell the person that you're going to be with that you have HIV or you've had STDs. Or maybe you've had, you know, medical surgeries that will affect fertility and we are definitely talking about maybe abortion or um, or you lost a pregnancy, you've gotten pregnant before, you lost the pregnancy, something yeah. that's for women, for men, maybe you've had, um, what's, what's that thing for, where they cut you over? Vasectomy. Uh, hey, you've had a vasectomy. No, no, I don't, no, I don't think guys jump, jump out like that. See you, people that want to avoid pregnancy, think of. But no, they don't, guys don't jump at it, we rather just use... You know, that that's what I'm saying. That's problem. for you. You can't generally say guys don't jump. Well, I'm just saying. There are men that I know my cousin says it all the time on Twitter that he doesn't want to have kids. So there are men that don't want children at all, I and know, he would but, probably go but, for a second. But that's, that's like one in one thousand. And that's what I'm saying. Now they still want. Okay, yeah, there's still one. So if there's a man that says, oh, I don't want to have kids, and he has had a vasectomy, please open your mouth and tell the woman that you don't want to have children. Yeah. Those are discussions that you should have, that you have done a vasectomy, you don't want to have children. As a woman, if you have an IUD, or you're using contraceptives, or do you understand, you're using something that's going to prevent you from having children, I think it's something that you should also share. Yeah, then, just not even just about fertility, um, I think just generally, just let your partner know. Yeah, go. just I've generally. Been sh- I've been shot before. Oh, I had this, this. Yeah, because that. he has been shot before. <laughs> yes. You're shooting. <laughs> yeah, so I've been shot. So those type of things, those, you know, it's just, I think those type of information sharing, once you guys get to like a very comfortable place, it's, it just makes, it's like bonding. So, yeah, that's what the communication stage is about. Yeah, so it's, and it's, it's, it's pretty much because about Because really, bonding. what are you doing in dating if you're not getting to know your partner? Exactly. Um, if, of course, and, there's friends with benefits, but... I'm talking about like if you're dating people, you know, to move to the next stage. I don't think there's anybody that wants to be with somebody that you cannot see a future with. Whoever you want well, to say yes to, well, I mean, you should be able to say oh. If you're going to that face in life, though. Yes, yes, yes. That's, 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 that's what I'm yeah. talking about. Because some people are just, some people, some they, people see, they see the push. end from the beginning. So they already know that, oh, this person three months. Oh, this person four months. Oh, this person six months. Yeah, like months. how all your oh, this person, before me were. Eight months. Oh, this person yeah, six months yeah. max, I'm out. What are you talking about? Yeah, in case you have not heard, I mean, his longest relationship in his entire life. So, <laughs> <laughs> so well, I'm, yeah. sure they, I'm sure they've watched our previous videos. I know they, yes, I'm sure they know that. I'm sure you have. You should know that by now. If you haven't, please go and watch our previous videos. So yes. another thing I'm so very, much. very positive you should share with your partner is your sexual preference. So if you awesome. yeah that, like so awesome. if you like BDSM please tell your partner that you like BDSM. Oh. If oh, you that. are oh, that. kinky, tell your partner that you are kinky. Yeah. yeah. If you don't like it from the back, tell your partner you don't wow. like it from the back. Wow. Fam, share your sexual wow. preference. Talk Ooh. about your sexual preference. Don't. What, what is God getting you excited? <laughs> what is getting you excited here? Sexual preference. Yes. Yeah. I love. I, I think we should stay on this topic for a while. <laughs> <laughs> they are shameless. So yes, I think that I definitely think that's something you should share. See, people like to trivialize sex, but sex is very important in every relationship. Um, sex, because everybody is having it, people don't, don't people don't see it as a big deal anymore. But if you're going to get married to somebody, almost sex is very important. And getting pleasure is very important. I know we have all heard about women faking orgasms and all of that, but almost. As much as they fake it, or as much as we fake it, we also like to get it. So, women, talk about your sexual preference, talk about what you like, tell your partner what you like, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. I don't need to say everything so that YouTube will not ban this video. 
But you know what I'm talking about, okay? Well, so talk about all of that. Well, I'm sure, I'm sure they do. Sure and men, don't be shy, seriously. And I like, think this thing is, I don't think it's just women. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think guys, you guys actually talk. You actually talk also about yours too because talk about there things. are things that you like and things that you don't like. Definitely. Let's not go into details, but then we all know what we're talking about. There are some things you like and there's some things you don't like. So Just let your partner let know. your partner know what you like. Okay? Yeah. I also want to point out why you are talking about your sexual preference. Please, I do not say you should go and brag about your previous sex partner or your previous sex life. Oh, oh, he had better strokes. Oh, he wow. had better moves. Oh, oh, moves like had, Jagger. Um, um, he did it this way or she did it that way. No, don't do that. Yeah. Instead of saying it like that, say exactly what, what you, you want. want. Just say, oh, I like it this way, mm -hmm. or I like it that way. Mm -hmm. Don't want to say, oh, maybe your sex, your former boyfriend or girlfriend did it that way. No, please, don't get us wrong. That's not how to go about it, okay? Mm -hmm. exactly. And then um, another thing I would say is definitely important is family and family orientation. So, for instance, um, my father and my mother have been together for they're still together, mm -hmm. and he's from like a polygamous home. Not from like. I am. He's from like, a polygamous like, home. Making, saying like, this looks like, oh, oh. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I am. But he's from a polygamous home, home yeah. and you know, his parents are not together. So that's definitely something we talked about before we got married, yeah. while we were dating. You know, I had yeah. to understand this whole... My parents, my parents have not been together all my, my whole life. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, my whole life, yeah. I think they got separated when two his weeks. mom was pregnant. Two weeks, two weeks after she gave birth. Two, yeah. weeks. two weeks, so yeah. So... so I think those, those I feel like things, you should things let your partner know. Definitely let exactly. your partner know. Don't let your family orientation come to your partner by surprise. Um, some people cannot deal with that separated home. And not just the person, you know, like, okay, my family members now. Okay, for instance, it came up during our wedding when I was going to get married, when my mom asked, like, you know, what kind of home he was from. I told her and she initially had a problem with it, you know. Of course, there's this, well, like there's this. Course. Yeah, no, not necessarily because like it was your fault. It was mostly like, you know, there's this confusion Stigma. that people hear. Yes, like, it's like, oh, if this person is from a particular kind of home, they want to also grow up and do the same thing. So my mom was worried that he would also look towards polygamy and all of that. So, you know, we talked about it and as much as I know this man, it's not something I envisioned would happen. So, I feel like definitely that's something no, why, you should why, talk why about. Why not sounding sure? It's not about me not sounding sure, baby. Nobody what? knows tomorrow. <laughs> come on, baby. Come on. Nobody knows tomorrow, okay? That's not Yeah, fun. but I trust you. Words of affirmation. Come I trust you. On. Exactly. I trust yeah. you. Yeah, now we are talking. You. Exactly. Okay. Talk so to it's me, not baby. something my baby is going to do. Mm -hmm. However, I feel like if you know you're in that kind of situation, it is definitely something to talk about. Yeah. Let your partner know Let what kind of family you came from. Mm -hmm. If you know you've suffered abuse of any kind, please let your partner know. Very important. Um yes. whether it be emotional abuse, physical abuse, whatever it is. Any kind of if you've suffered any kind of abuse at all, definitely talk about it. Um, and then when we are talking about, you know, let your partner know about your family, please. I'm not saying if your maybe your mom is fighting with your younger sister or there's a petty problem with the family that like you let your partner know everything, like because that is going to cause issues during like your family gathering. Use wisdom to so, give that information. So the all in all, what we've been trying to say is this: read the room. Understand your partner. Know the type know of your information customer, you like give out. Said, no, KYC, yes. Yeah, know, yes. Know the type of information you give out part time. See if this person can learn do it. Exactly. So when it comes to, we will still talk about it later. So it's part of information sharing. So oh, baby, I ran into this babe today or more, and then have conversations about it. But then the problem with having those type of conversations is that sometimes your partner do, they don't know how to handle that type of information. You make you tell someone oh. This guy came to talk to me today. The guy, your partner, who is the guy, automatically just thinks that, oh, you are cheating on him. Oh, you gave the guy your number. Exactly. Oh, no, come on. It doesn't work like that. At least from my experience, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> so, information sharing, that's, that's how we're able to count each other's two stars and stuff. Actually, we'll talk about um, that another day, but then it's, yeah. it's just it's part of information sharing. So, there's history sharing. There is on-time, real-time information sharing. So you met someone today, someone gave you a lift, someone 
No, me, you girls know. Someone this made thing. an advance. Yes, even guys. Why are you saying you, you guys, girls? You guys, oh, guys, you are the one with all the toasters these days. Which one is you that's, girls? That's not the. That's not the. Come that's on, not the conversation. Know, that's not the. That's not the no conversation sense. we're having now. Focus, focus. focus. Yeah. focus. <laughs> <laughs> Please just focus. <laughs> So what we are saying is on time, real time information sharing too is important. So apart from sharing like historical events, now that you guys are together, things that are happening right now on the go, I think so, you should also so share. So this is brass from the fact that you know I've always said like he has like a great past of poison. Wow. However, like because he comes home and he tells me, oh this you know this babe spoke to me today or i saw this babe oh she was so hot she was fine oh i had a crush on this babe it makes it easier to deal with yeah, you yeah it makes it easier. even for me it makes it easier it makes it easier with. to deal with i know it's not easy to share these things let's be very honest it is probably not easy to share this kind of information but trust me it makes it easier communication is vast and all of these things are encompassing so i feel like don't be scared, don't be shy, especially if you're with somebody you're dating seriously. Then or... I think I think I have one just one little advice for guys out there. So the thing is that you guys don't understand how the how a lady's mind works. I know they are very complicated, but yes, their mind is very complex. But then if your girlfriend has gets really comfortable with you or your wife gets really comfortable with you to share certain information, don't react unnecessarily. If you what that reaction would do is that next time she will stop sharing this type of information exactly. with you Even so, we to so now if you want to keep getting updates on those type of conversations and those type of informations you need to keep your cool and then think about how far you guys have come what is at stake and then trust your partner to do the right thing really that's that's what, because if you want to keep getting that information you have to be calm and be calculated about it you cannot just react to start jumping into conclusions and start assuming scenarios that never that happen. never happen. Do you understand? So most times I feel like I'm sure in the comment section we'll get a lot of people saying things like, Oh, I told my boyfriend this one time and then he flipped and then it's hard for me to share that type of information. That is the problem. Sometimes there is a lot of insecurity issues, self-esteem issues, people begin to overthink scenarios, overthinkers. No, don't do that. If your partner is trying to be real with you to tell you real life things that are happening just so you know what's going on not because they are considering the other person that is talking to them they're just letting you know they're letting you know because you matter i think if yeah. you look at it from that scene from that point of view you understand better and then just get to listen to them and then so most times we make jokes about it and i'm like ah, how that your office husband now or how is that that your driver boo or how is that that your you know, no just make jokes about it it makes it Easier. Make it easier to deal with. Exactly. To be very honest. How's that your sugar daddy? Because uh, yeah, sometimes you have one older man that had like a mad crush on her. Like, mad crush. I'm like, ah, every time I ask her, ah, how's that your sugar daddy? How oh, far? It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, just those type of things. It, it looks like, oh, it's, this is not just camera. Actually. People that know us know us, they know. But then it's, it's just the vibe that we have. It's the, it's, so this thing we to be very honest we take communication very seriously um i feel like it's very important you cannot underestimate your communication in a relationship you can't um especially things like this don't hide honestly the point of this video is don't hide the important things of the of your past from your partner even your present don't do it yeah even your present if there's don't anybody you like if there's if you have a crush or more just open your mouth and talk if you're even, even tired of the relationship open your mouth and See, say the, the faster way to get over a crush is by sharing with your partner this is truth. See, it's proven. The fastest way to get over proven. a crush. You I'm like you like a, a guy, you like a babe, you like she likes a guy. Once you tell your partner that crush is half dead. He's half dead already. He's half yes. dead. He's half dead because now what you have to do now is to give updates. Oh, yes, well, far you didn't see that your crush today. It's, you're not telling it to a joke. Exactly. Course, you don't want to come at him like, hmm. So how about that again now? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You be like, ah, ah. How are you? Mm -hmm. Let's give you scenario then, please. How are your toasters them now? Which one? Which one? We've seen they talk. Now. Which one be toast? Which toast? That particular guy. Oh, I asked for your number. I oh, leave that one. Tell me. I didn't believe the babe. What she said last time. See. I've looked at her. We had conversations. We talked about it, and then she doesn't really seem very intellectual. I mean, she, she from far, she looks like she knows what she's doing. But then now that we are talking, and I'm saying, ah, this one is not sense. 
<laughs> so it's, it's, it helps you get over the crush really, because at the end Honestly, of the day, does. nobody is really perfect. You see, everybody looks like they are shining from afar, but then when they get to meet, they don't be like, oh, you just another walk in the park. There's really nothing. Just stay with your own person, really. <laughs> to be very honest. Anyway, so yeah, I think that's basically what I wanted to talk about in this video. Mm. If you have questions on, I mean, how to maneuver other things or the things we have talked about please feel free to ask us um you can also reach us to us personally our instagram handles are in the description box please feel free to do all of that um if you have personal questions of course if some guys have personal questions they want to ask this sweet boy please go ahead if ladies if you have any questions to ask me please feel free our instagram handles are in the description box mm. feel free to send us you know, um, yes. personal DMs, mm -hmm. I will definitely respond. If you have something to ask us as a couple, our email address will be in the description box also. Mm -hmm. So yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, yeah. subscribe to our YouTube channel, share and this video with your friends. share this video with your friends, definitely. Mm -hmm. Also drop a comment. We want yeah. to hear from you guys. What do you think? Have you shared your past with your partner? Have you? Do you or think you're, you're still, going you're still, you're still coding it. What do you think about this topic? To yeah. be very honest. Let us know if Let's you want to hear from sharing mm -hmm. so yeah All right. thank you guys for watching thank you for watching we love you as subscribers as usual it has it has it has for you as subscribers yeah. we love you we love you if you have not subscribed yet subscribe okay mm -hmm. till next time we are the bye